Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to introduce an American science fiction thriller film to you. Hope you can like my recap. In the future, the company Wifelike creates expensive artificial replicas of dead women for their widowers. The companions are subservient to their respective owners. The male protagonist of the movie, William, is a senior employee at an artificial intelligence company. The company's main business is developing bioandroids, which are created using AI technology, resembling real humans almost perfectly. Not long ago, William had just lost his beloved wife, and he was feeling downcast. To show their appreciation for William's dedication to the company, the company specially customized a bioandroid for him. This bioandroid, named Meredith, is almost identical to William's late wife. William initially thought of her as just a machine, nothing extraordinary. Not only does she look almost identical to his wife, but she also helps ease his grief and sadness from losing his wife. However, some extremists intentionally sabotage the bioandroids and implant viruses into their systems. What will happen next? Will this still be a story of a man in love with his bioandroid wife? After William brings Meredith home, she takes care of him by cooking meals every day. While William eats, Meredith voluntarily takes care of household chores. When he's tired, she massages him, and at night, there's a special intimate mode for them. The only drawback is that every night, Meredith needs to go to a separate room to recharge. She appears to be the perfect robot wife. However, a group of activists who call their organization Skyer is attempting to destroy the company wifelike. One of their branches is carrying out terrorist activities to accomplish their mission, including stealing robots from wealthy owners, reprogramming them, and using them for various crimes. However, the police cannot locate their mysterious leader, known as the Ringmaster. William, as an elite agent, works in finding stolen robots and returning them home. He does it very well. However, things begins to change when a masked man appears in Meredith's dream, this man seems to know Meredith very well. He handed her a piece of paper with a red bird drawn on it and said he hoped this paper would help her remember. At the same time, a black-haired woman, who goes by the name Louise, breaks into Meredith's house, saying that the masked man Keen wants to see her and hopes she wakes up soon. In the evening, when William comes home, Meredith tells him about the incident with the black-haired woman breaking into the house. William appears anxious, as if he knows something. He contacts his colleague Jack and asks for assistance in using equipment to connect him and Meredith, allowing him to locate the masked man Keen in Meredith's dreams and find his hiding place. Through Meredith's dreams, William and Jack indeed find the hiding place of the masked man Keen. However, it seems that the other party was well prepared, and in the end, William only finds a bronze statue that closely resembles Keen. William enters Meredith's dream once again. Despite Jack's repeated warnings that William can only observe once he's inside the dream, as any mishap in the dream could lead to William's brain death, William engages in a physical altercation with the masked man when he encounters him in the dream. Just as William is about to defeat the masked man, Meredith's power runs out and she exits the dream. This leaves William feeling extremely frustrated, and Jack is also angry at William for not following the rules. William is confident in completely defeating Keen. However, in the dream where William is fighting Keen, Meredith overhears William telling Keen that he intends to erase Meredith's memories once again. Meredith explicitly tells William that she doesn't want her memories to be erased, but William coldly refuses her, stating that he doesn't want her to be used by the SCARE organization. Meredith is then taken to the wife-like company, awaiting memory erasure. However, as she is being dragged away, she enters a dream. In this dream, she encounters many bioandroids with self-awareness. One bioandroid named Ollie offers to help Meredith maintain her memories and reminds her that she taught her this method before. All Meredith needs to do is recall what she already knows. Humans can erase their memories, but they overlook the fact that they cannot erase their dreams. The bioandroids only need to place the memories they want to keep in the sleep mode Following Ollie's method, Meredith recovers all her memories, but she chooses to pretend that she doesn't know about her past life. She is once again sent back to William's home. At this point, Louise instructs Jack's bioandroid wife to deliver a mysterious file to Jack. So what is the document? 
What fact does Meredith know and recall? William begins a new round of training with Meredith, proclaiming that she is his wife. However, this time, Jack bursts in and tells William that she was never his wife. William instructs Meredith to leave temporarily. In the midst of the argument between him and Jack, Jack claims that William's companion ownership privileges are now immediately revoked. William cold-bloodedly shoots and kills Jack. At this point, Meredith no longer pretends. Though William claims that all he does is to protect her, she forcefully knocks down William and kills him. It turns out that Keen Morrison had been killed by William a long time ago, so he only appears in Meredith's dreams. The Keen that appeared in reality was disguised by the dark-haired woman Louise. In a chance encounter, William meets the human Meredith and develops feelings for her. However, Meredith is a member of the Scare Resistance Organization. As a result, he secretly follows her and kills her boyfriend, Keen Morrison, in front of her. And Keen and Meredith were deeply in love. And Keen was going to propose to Meredith before the night of his death. Then, William forced her to be his girlfriend under the threat of violence. Their abusive relationship ended with William killing her and putting a ring on her dead body before reporting her death, pretending to have been her secret husband. Later, he extracted Meredith's memories, transferring all her beautiful memories with Keen onto himself. Then, he possessed his bio-android wife in this twisted manner, forever having Meredith. Meredith, the bio-android, goes back to her Skyer base, where she reunites with her fellow members. It is revealed that she is the true leader, the ringmaster, and together with her group, they plan to advance the robot revolution. In response to the impending rebellion, Wifelike manufactures a duplicate of William. I hope you like this recap. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for future updates.